Okay. Welcome back to episode 14 of Let's Play Hexen. And the last episode was 25 minutes long, so yeah, I definitely had to end it. And uh, we have this evil room here, but the key to beating this room is to finding the gargoyles with the with the purple jewels like this one. Open, open, open. And uh, the walls can't really crush you here, so. And here's another one. Here's another one. Pretty sure you have to trigger all the switches anyway. Shit, man. This room actually killed me earlier. It crushed me. I don't. I kind of. <gasps> you know what? I think I know how to beat this room actually. Because the place that crushed me, I uh, couldn't do too much about it. It caught me very off guard, so... Okay, three switches. That's usually the magic number for this game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trigger the boots of speed. The one time I'll use them this last play, I'm going to run forward and hit the switch. See, that crushes you. So the boots of speed actually... Oh, fuck. It almost killed me again. Let's grab this. No, fuck you! Boots of speed, master race. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so I'm going to go right here. And I think that's it. I triggered the switch. So now I move unreasonably fast. I think that's it for this level. I think I triggered all three switches. So I'm going to go back here very carefully because I still have the boots of speed active. And at least I think I do. Do I? I seem to be... Yeah, I definitely do. Look at this. All right. So, oh, shit. There's another surprise enemy right here. Can't hit me. Can't hit me. Okay. What was the point of that? Hmm, there had to have been some type of point. Maybe there's something with this gargoyle, I don't know. There's something behind it. Let's see. This room. Okay, now the boost of speed have worn off, I believe. Okay, so I just want to do a recap. We got the switch in there, that's one. Switch down there is two. Where was the third switch for this level? Because I don't have to come back here. Was it over here? Oh, maybe that's what one of the switches did. Okay, hold on. For some reason, I'm still convinced that this opens, and you get back there somehow. So I'm going to go ahead and save and do something stupid. <laughs> so, let's see what happens if I do this. Maybe I have to jump in here. Okay, that's not the case. <laughs> you know, you can hear my character die. Okay, so that's what happens. Chiseler fell too far. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, I'm going to do something stupid once more. What did I do? I accidentally triggered my boots of speed, apparently. Uh, again. So now I don't have another pair. Oh, well. Well, if I can make this. No, it doesn't make a difference. Hmm. Because I'm pretty sure there's something... Well, hold on. Is there anything left here? No. I'm trying to think. I'm going to go through here again, just because I feel like I'm missing something. So all these stopped moving. So did I get all this? Wait. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. Now, what does that do? I think <sighs> four switches in here. Yup, that looks about right. Okay, well, hopefully this won't crush me again. Thank God. So then this opens. Or, I mean, I don't know why I said that. I don't know, that's like a habit. Okay, well, something should have happened over here. Hmm. What did that last switch do? Anything down here? Maybe it did something over here. Seriously? And this is still... I know there's something to this window pane. Fuck. There's a way to get back there, and I'm not sure how. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna figure this out, so... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna save really quick and I'm gonna figure out this dilemma, guys. I don't know the answer. I apologize. Okay, so, um, apparently... <laughs> I found out that this glass here just is rather buggy. And you have to shoot at it from certain angles. And <sighs> I'm clearly hitting it, so I don't quite understand. I mean... Look at this. I don't... Hmm. Okay, hold on. What am I gonna do here? What can I do here? Not much, not much. Let's see, maybe maybe an item will do it. No, it won't. Hmm. Okay, well, I have the ammo and I have the time and patience, so... Apparently you can do it with all the classes. 
but a lot of people have trouble with this. So I don't I don't fucking understand the angle though. Hold on. That makes me feel better just watching that explode. It's like I'm hitting everywhere but the glass or something. I don't know, man. Well, that's not opening. Okay, it's just it, it's it's how you get back there and how you get the porculator, but I guess it's not worth it. So, well, hold on. Let's see. Maybe if I back up, I don't want to fall off here. Yes, folks, I am this uh, stubborn. I don't get it. Maybe you have to hit a certain. I don't know, man. Okay, so like the guide, I well, I looked up and said it takes good aim to do it, and uh, I, I think that's just a shitty excuse for it, because they I don't know. It seems like the developers kind of fucked up here, unless it's just the way I'm running the game on Z Doom. Um, all right, not worth it. Fuck it. Clearly not worth it. Jesus Christ. Oh. Okay, well let's just pretend I did it, cause that's how you do it. I know how to do it. I knew something with the window. Whatever. It's kind of a shame, but I'm pretty sure we solved all the puzzles actually. So we're gonna go back here, and uh, let's see if we did. And these are all lit up. Oh fuck! No way. I'm gonna save. Okay, shit's about to go down, fellows. All right. Well, this is why we saved. Um, if that doesn't make sense to you, I edited it out. So we're going to fight the uh, boss of this hub, and I'm going to use my Dark Servant on him, so... And this lowers at a really bad time, and I don't feel like dealing with those enemies, so where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay, you, you see him in there, and then he spawns. Alright, here he is. Here's the boss of this, of this hub. This is the Heresy Arch. I'm going to use my Dark Servant, and they're going to duke it out. And, uh... When he has those little purple mana ball things, you know, floating around him, apologies for the garage. When he has these, his defenses are up and anything you shoot at him gets reflected back at you. So, I have my... And see, it's even happening to my poor Dark Slave. His shots are being reflected back at him. So, but this is a pretty good distraction. Oh, now he's looking at me and my Dark Slave is dead. And, oh shit, run from the shot! Fuck, no, no, no! Okay, alright. You know, hold on. I'm gonna fire all these shots, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna activate an icon, a defender. Okay, let's do this. And see the shots go back, but they bounce off me because I have an icon, a defender, so this is kind of interesting. Um, Alright, well, put your defense down, come on, man. I need to watch my uh, icon, defender, though, and he has all these attacks that just brutally destroy you, and I'm out of ammo, apparently. So, let's see, Crater of Mites. This is where I get to use all these media items. And, uh, let's see, I'm gonna keep on the course flasks here. And now my Icon Defender is used up, I only have two more. Don't know what I'm gonna need them, so... Alright, I'm gonna be very careful here. And he has these fireballs that do so much damage. Shit, man. Whew, this guy's a tough one. These fireballs are everywhere still. Come on. Come on, buddy. I'm being very careful. Yep, he reflected those shots at me, I think. If that if that wasn't the fireball that I ran into. Shit. Okay. This is a battle, folks. Kinda wish the music was better for this battle. I should have changed the music just temporarily. If possible. Fuck, that did damage. Okay. Come on, put your defenses down. This guy can be a bit of a nuisance, actually. I don't remember him being this annoying. <laughs> but anyway. Alright, so I'm taking my sweet time here. I don't not want to die like I did last time. He's spawning enemies in? Oh, interesting. Oh, there goes my frame rate. Because fuck my life. And that was bad. Oh shit, the shots are actually chasing me like they do when I use it. So... Jeez, man. I think when he starts spawning enemies is when he, you're close to beating him, actually. Oh, boy. 
want to use two Icon Defenders on this guy. I don't know, I kind of feel safe shooting and running away just in case the shots come back at me. And I'm about to run out of ammo again, so there's another crater of my... Okay, so now I have all my ammo back. Alright. Must be close to dying, though. Shit! <laughs> no shots come back at me, nope. Not dealing with it. And those shots are hitting him. So, he has his defenses up. Come on, take him down. Dude, he's spawning enemies like it's his job. Really wish I had another Dark Servant, though. He's a good distraction. He, he did work. He, he shall be remembered. He shall. Man, this guy is really badass. I don't remember him being this tough. Come on. Man, I am doing work with dodging though right now. Shit. This is quite the battle. Holy... Oh man. Go ahead and run away. There's no way the shots will come back if I'm out here. <laughs> uh, there must be health somewhere actually. No. Yeah, I've been kind of not been... Like this hub definitely increased the difficulty of the game. And uh, let's see. No, he's still alive. Oh, he want, you want to battle outside, buddy? Come on, let's go. Let's go! <laughs> oh, he's spawning enemies out here. That's not good at all. Fuck, I cannot believe this guy's still alive. Oh, shit. Oh, no, that hit him. Okay, good. And... Fuck, I'm actually out of ammo here? Go ahead and use the wand. This I can shoot him as much as I want with the wand, so... You know, actually, I think I know what I'm going to do here. I'm not using my flechettes, so... And they don't exactly deflect back at me like a, you know, firing a weapon would, so... Alright. Oh, I got him with the flechettes! That was epic. Okay. And killing him makes the entire level shake. This is normal, so... Take these enemies out. Apologies if you can hear people in the background. Okay, so we are pretty much done with this hub. That was a mini boss fight. I didn't I don't remember him being that difficult. So what I'm going to do is save right here, actually. Now that we've killed him, we can uh, move on. And I think what we're going to do is go to the secret level. There's a Wings of Wrath right there. For some reason, I feel like I'm going to need that. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to take it. Why not? So I think what happens when I take it... Yeah, this spawns behind me, I figured. Okay, so that has to be to the next hub, I think. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to run around and get all my mana back. Because I know I used it <laughs> for that boss fight. Two craters of might, man. That's 400 mana. Each. Green and blue. And, um... Hmm. I heard an enemy. Okay, so here's some more mana. Here's some more green mana. And, uh... Whoops. That's not where I wanted to go. No, there's one blue mana right here, yep. I don't know why I avoided that for so long. Is there any left in here? No, I took it all. Oh boy. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to proceed to the secret level right here. Oh, no way did that just happen. Hold on. Oh, Crater of Might spawn? That's actually not bad. You know what? Hold on. Oh, 
Okay, so I, I sincerely hope this didn't like... Okay, no, it does reopen. I thought it permanently closed on me. I was like, oh god, it was a timed thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this mana and I will take you all to the secret level. If we have time. If not, that is the end of this episode. You guys will know. So... Alright. Okay, we have time, so I'm going to go down and uh, go through this portal. Which leads us to the Deathwind Chapel, and this is the next secret level, so... I'm going to try to complete this as fast as possible. And we have a bunch of Dark Bishops in there. Which is what these enemies are called. So... Okay, I'm gonna pull this switch and see what it does. And we have a there's some stairs, so pull up these stairs and there's this room. Bunch of gargoyles in here, okay. Oh boy! Okay. Um So I'm gonna drop down and uh because there's a path right there I can take. Save one. Alright. Okay. More dark bishops. Pull this switch. And the torches light up in this room and has to be some significance to that. I'm running out of course classics again, but oh shit. Hopefully I'll be able to get everything back from this level, because this level should give you some really good items. Okay. So let's see, I'm gonna go on this elevator. It takes me up to this room. Where I'm getting my ass kicked and I'm using up my course flasks. Shit man. I'm gonna go this way first. Go down, there's more of these guys. I don't like fighting the Dark Bishops in confined areas like that, where it's almost impossible to dodge their shots. So, that's why I'm using the wand against them. Pull the switch, torches, same deal with this room. Let me run across here. And, uh, was I already over here? I guess I- Oh! Hey, buddy! Okay. Well. Let's see, what else can I do here? Um. Okay. Oh, pulling both switches triggers this. And opening that does what? I heard something open. I think it was over there, actually. See, so, yeah, how many items do I have? I have a Wings of Wrath. I have two Craters of Might. Dragon Screen Brazers, I'll trigger those. And, uh... Let's see. I have three Porculators. Yeah, I'm gonna Porculate something. Just, just because I'm still upset as to what happened <laughs> with that boss. It's pretty tough, so now I'm gonna go down these stairs. And you have a million enemies in here. Oh boy. It's literally rooms like this that sort of make me wish I had the Wraith Verge Cleric's weapon, because I would fire two shots. Literally, it doesn't even matter where I would aim, and uh, everything would be dead just like that. So, take this Gargoyle out. And here's what I'm gonna do. This, this better hit them. And yes, there's one pig. I have another porculator, so why not? There we are. I need quick work for those bitches. Okay, so... Six quartz flasks left. I see the stairs take me. Probably switch behind him. There's nothing. Okay, I'm sure I come back. Um, I'm gonna be careful, because I have a feeling... I'm gonna save, actually, because if I fall down and die, then... That would suck. <laughs> okay. Okay, I actually think the trick is to grab this and see what happens. Okay. Okay. That... Oh, okay, so these stairs rise and you can go back, apparently. And maybe that opens something... Open this. No? Oh, there's a switch I did miss. Oh, okay. This just leads you back. So... Hmm. Well, maybe grabbing the armor uh, opens something over here. Yes, it opened this door. Okay. Oh boy, look at all these enemies. Um, wow, there's not too many actually. Hold on. Okay. 
Okay. So do these open? Uh, I bet they do. Um, so there's these pillars here. And, uh... Okay, I'm running out of course flasks again. Oh, they move! They're going really fast. What is happening? I'm gonna go ahead and wait and see what happens. Uh, okay, you have to run across, it seems. Like this. Come on, run, make it! Okay, I'm gonna pull the switch, and... Yup, I knew it. Fuckers. Actually, I think these are the regular ones, so... Yes, they are. And here's another, uh... Cross shards, for whatever reason. Huh. Okay, so I'm gonna run back. I triggered the switch. Okay. Come on, buddy. Oh, fuck me! Oh, okay, I thought it was gonna get me. Oh, man. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. Okay, yep, blue mana here. And... An arc of death. Well, at least the game's consistent. So here is the last room of the secret level, which is where all the fun stuff should be, so... I'm going to save before I enter this room, just in case, because I don't, I don't know the secret level at all. I remember the fire room from when I was a cat shit. Well, well, from when I was a child, but I don't, I don't remember this room, so let's see. All these enemies spawn in, apparently, and this all lower. How many enemies are in there? Where are my full shots? Here are my full shots. Wow, how many enemies spawned? A lot, apparently. And this guy's dead. Okay. Might as well. I never use these things. <laughs> and actually, no, I'm making uh, good use of them. More enemies in here. Bet you there's more enemies in here. So I'm going to get them to wake up, so to speak. And they're not... Maybe they're confined to this room. So I'm going to do the same thing this side. Now I'm out of flechettes, so... Good use, good use. You know, this episode's pretty long, too. Some episodes are really meaty, 20 plus. Other times they're not. I thought this one would be around 17 minutes, but... Nah, I can do the secret level. Might as well finish this hub, you know, get it out of the way. So... Okay. Now, I saw a portal somewhere. There's one. And, uh... There's this door. So I'm gonna go ahead and... I'm gonna choose this portal and see what happens. Again, saving. I know I'm being a little save for but don't care. Not worth the risk. And, okay, there's a Dark Bishop here. There's a switch there. And there's a lot of enemies in there. So I'm gonna pull the switch go through this. Oh, okay. And that's still close. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I'm assuming there's two switches. And, oh, whoops. Okay, so there's this switch, pull it, and I think that opens the door, which is where all the enemies are. Yep, okay. Oh boy, this is me not dealing with it. Okay. Man, these guys are sinister, they hear them whispering and everything. Whew. Okay, well, cleared this room really quickly, and Crater of Might, that's worth it. And, uh, I believe that's it. Um, okay, well, we are done with the secret level. I don't see anything else for us to do. So, sorry about the frame, wait, stop it. Let's see, yep, I've done everything. Um, oh wait, have I been in here? What's this? Why is my frame rate dropping? I think my frame rate is shitty due to the fact of those pillars moving in the other room. It's making my game act up. But yep, that is it. So this was the goody room, I guess. This room and this room. He had all the items, so... Alright, well... We are done with the secret level. Um, I'm gonna check one more time. This room seems too small for... Is that it? Yep. Okay. Alright, well, yep, we're done with secret level, so. And uh, we're gonna make our way back, and we are done with the hub as well. Actually, no, we're not. Give me a second. Where was the level? It was the dragon level. Okay, now don't ask me how I missed this. Do not. Um, now look. 
in the middle of all these torches is another crater of might, and I ran past it a million times apparently. So that I oh, I don't know, guys. <laughs> okay, so but we are done with the hub now. The wings of wrath are not really used for anything that I can tell. I, mean, I could have used it in the seeker level, but no, oh, that's it. So we are going to exit this hub. That is it, everyone. And uh, all right, let's go forward. The mightiest weapons and artifacts of the ancients barely suffice to defeat the Heresy Arch and his minions. But now their fell remains lie strewn at your feet. Yeah, no kidding. It was really hard to kill that man. Gathering the last of your strength, <laughs> you prepare to enter the portal which leads from the Heresy Arch's inner sanctum. Above you, the ramparts of an immense castle loom. Silent towers and bare walls surround a single spire of black stone, which squats in the center of the castle like a like a brooding giant. Fire and shadow twist behind gaping windows, dozens of baleful eyes glaring down upon you. Somewhere within, your enemies are waiting. This is the Castle of Grief. You have played the game too long, mortal. I think I shall remove you from the board. Alright, and uh, you'll see what that means. Like, the ending has something to do with that phrase, but yes, I will go ahead and deal with all those enemies later. Um, this is the end of the episode, so I thank you all for watching, and we shall explore the new hub next time.